Okay, so in this video, we'll be discussing about the um, concepts of probability. So, with which we are going to get the uh, formulas in uh, probability. What is really the probability? What is the history of probability? So, um, probability is sim simply defined. So, it's just right here. Probability. So it is defined defined as the numerical assessment of likelihood so that is the numerical assessment of likelihood or chance okay so the 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 number or the numerical assessment of a likelihood is between so that will be zero to zero to one so what does it mean so the if for example if you are going to get a pro probability of a certain event to happen so its probability is between zero which is uh, which will be interpreted as it will never occur and one which is 100% or most likely it will occur okay then so the total probability of favorable and non-favorable outcomes for example we have PE so PE is the probability of event E to happen and the probability of E not happening that is P not E so if you combine that one that is equal to 1 okay so for example if 20% chance that it will rain today then it it, it will also have 80% chance that it will not because if you if you um, get the total of 80 and 20 that will be 100 percent or equal to one okay so the father of probability so the one who 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 introduced or who made um uh favor uh, who made mathematical study the the earliest mathematical study of probability is is a physician and a mathematician named Girol, Girolamo Cardano Cardano so he is in an Italian Italian who lived between 1501 to 1576 no? so um, he first give uh, he first um, study the um, mathematical concept of probability and give probability its first uh, few concepts and theories so basically probability stems from the need of uh, of um, people to know what is the chance of a certain event to happen for example like i said while ago raining chance of raining the chance of it will be a sunny day and most likely uh, the main part of that is gambling so for example if you have the head and the tail so what is the chance that that on a single toss of coin the yeah the result will be a head or a tail so that is probably one of the um, uh, pushing or the drive of people to um, to have a theory on probability so because of the ads so it is somewhat termed as the ads okay so we have also some definitions on probability so first we have experiment so let's just write here some terms 
So first we have experiment. My let's just have this one a little bit bigger. Experiment. Okay. So experiment is a control a controlled study. So it is a controlled study. controlled study whose outcome is uncertain but not entirely unknown. So when you say a, uh, a experiment on probability, so the the outcome so the outcome of that is unknown. So the outcome is, oh no, the, the, the term is not unknown but uncertain. So the outcome is uncertain. But the result, no, the result is entirely unknown. So the outcome is uncertain, but um, what will be the most likely outcome or what will be the result is unknown. So what does it mean? For example, we ha we are we have an experiment of um, tossing a die, no? a die. So the outcome, we know the outcomes. So we have. Uh, the outcomes could be one up to six because the faces of a die is numbered from or have dots that is one to six. You no, know? then we know the outcome. So the outcome could be one, two, three, four, five, or six. But the exact outcome during the experiment is entirely unknown. We could guess that in 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 a single toss, uh, the outcome, the the certainty that a that a that a die will fall or or the result will be one is one out of six so that will be the certainty so that itself is now probability okay then next we have trial so trial so trial is the recorded result Okay, so this is the record, recorded result of the experiment. So for if, for example, the first toss, we could call that one as a first trial. So the first trial, the result is 1. The second trial, the result is 3. The third trial, is the re result is 4. So if a certain experiment is termed unbiased, so it is termed unbiased, so that trial is forced for certainty, um, will be recorded because in prob probability we are um, we are trying to to have our result unbiased or to have our experiment unbiased so that our result will be also unbiased meaning there are no um, um, interference for us to have a a, fa a result that is much favorable for us for example if we are going to toss a die then we make one of the face of the die um, or three faces of, of a die to have a number one. So therefore, most favorably, 50% of chance of that that the result will be one because we have changed the face of the die. But if that is an unbiased die, unbiased die, therefore, we, each of the result or, or or each of the possible outcomes will have one out of six chances that it, it will occur then outcome is one of the possible results so in the next definition of that the next term is outcome so this is the possible result Okay, the possible result so outcome will depend on the experiment itself for uh, for tossing a coin it will have two outcomes for tossing a die it will have six outcomes for guessing if uh, a, if a certain um, for example if if a certain person will pick a color of a, a rainbow so that is seven seven cores because rainbow has seven cores so it will def depend on the um, experiment okay next we have definition the next definition is the event okay so on our um, previous video we have defined event mathematically but now we will define event in a much um, 
in a much uh, simpler or layman's term, event is the combination of possible outcomes. Okay. So it is the combination of possible outcomes. Okay. So, for example, if the outcome of a certain experiment is also part of another experiment, then you have now a com combination of possible outcomes. So that is how event is um, is defined. So in uh, in the previous videos, we say that an event could be a union of two events or a union of uh, two sample space. So we also define as event is a subset of a sample space. So event is any combination of possible outcomes if you are going to relate that one on the principles of probability. Okay. Next, we will go to Just add here another page. Okay. We'll have here the frequency of the outcome. Okay, so this will be, I guess, just uh, number five. Okay. Frequency of the outcome. So the frequency of the outcome is refers to the number of times. So this is the number of times number of times a certain outcome will occur. So the number of times an outcome. So it's just right. Okay, an outcome will occur. So that is the frequency of the outcome. So for example, if if during an experiment uh, conducting 50 trials, so the outcome or the outcome of six, so for example, we conducted 50 trials of tossing a die, then the outcome of the number one um, having a result or the, the outcome out of 50 trials, um, six times that the result is one, then the the frequency of that outcome is six. Okay. So if you are going to get the RF or the relative frequency, so just like in um, statistics, no? so this is equal to the number. So it's number of occurrence occurrences so the number of um the number of um occurrence in which the re the result is as what we are trying to get for example um six times that that the number uh, that the die falls on one over the total number of total number of trials so that is relative frequency okay so in the next video we'll be talking about the principle of pro probability then we will go on also to knowing what is the uh, the odds and the true true odds